नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम Welcome to this course on advanced transition metal organometallic chemistry. As a part of our ongoing discussion on organometallic catalysis reaction, uh, we have been uh, looking at uh, uh, C1 chemistry, uh, particularly that of carbon monoxide utilization chemistry uh, uh, from an industrial standpoint in the last two uh, lecture. Now what we had observed is that though uh, olefin oxidation reactions uh, are important and are being used uh, 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 in industrial scale. For example, the Walker oxidation of uh, ethylene to uh, acetaldehyde uh, is being used uh, in uh, industry for more than a century now or that of halcon arco, uh, arco uh, oxidant epoxidation reaction in which propylene is converted to propylene oxide uh, in about 6 million tons a year uh, annually. Uh, there is a need to develop uh, this uh, uh, CO utilization chemistry particularly this uh, chemistry C1 chemistry which is uh, more popularly uh, known as. Now with respect to this we have uh, uh, been talking about these two reaction uh, the water gas shift reaction and fischer tropsch uh, reaction. And what uh, we have discussed is this water gas shift reaction is a reaction that affects uh, 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 the oxidation of CO to CO2, whereas uh, fischer tropsch uh, 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 reaction affects the reduction of uh, CO uh, to hydrocarbons. So uh, in a way both of these reactions are important and our uh, need of the day as the concentration of CO continue to grow in the environment and uh, has become a global uh, nuisance and hazard and there uh, has to be a remedy, a remedial steps uh, required uh, to uh, cut down on CO emission. So from this perspective, uh, this water gas shift reaction uh, 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 becomes important. Uh, in our past uh, discussion, uh, we have also uh, looked at the various uh, uh, methods which contribute to the uh, CO uh, 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 gas, uh, CO in synthesis gas and they are generally uh, from three uh, uh, sources uh, which are uh, uh, mainly controlled uh, combustion of uh, crude uh, oil. Uh, or reforming of uh, natural gas or coal uh, gasification uh, reaction. Uh, the controlled oxidation of uh, crude oil uh, gives uh, uh, the synthesis gas which is uh, carbon monoxide and uh, hydrogen uh, and uh, coal gasification uh, also uh, is a reaction of carbon with water to give CO and H2 and of, of course uh, the reforming of um, natural gas. Now, with this, uh, 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 we have uh, discussed uh, these uh, two uh, formation of synthesis gas and uh, then uh, uh, the, uh, the we will uh, talk about uh, this uh, equilibrium in water gas shift reaction in bit more detail. The equilibrium uh, in water gas shift reaction is the reaction of water with uh, carbon monoxide in presence of heterogeneous uh, catalyst of based on iron and copper that produces hydrogen and CO2. So H2O plus CO catalyst iron copper uh, these are heterogeneous catalysts at temperature greater than 200 degree centigrade producing hydrogen plus CO2 delta H equals minus 42 kilojoule per mole. Now 
uh, the significance of this equilibrium uh, lies in the fact that these uh, are the uh, uh, depending on where the equilibrium lies one can envision this uh, reaction as uh, carbon monoxide getting oxidized by stripping this oxygen uh, from water and in uh, turn producing carbon dioxide and hydrogen. So, uh, sig significance of this reaction lies in uh, exploitation of the reducing power of CO to produce hydrogen from water under mild condition. The significance lies in in being able to to produce H two from CO and H two O under mild condition. Highlighting the reducing power of CO, highlighting the reducing power of CO. The removal of uh, uh, this process also has a significance because uh, this allows removal of CO from the gas mixture of Heber Bosch process, uh, process which is used uh, uh, for making uh, ammonia by reaction of hydrogen and uh, uh, nitrogen. So, also lies the significance also lies in the removal. from the mixture for Heber process. Hydrogen uh, enrichment of the synthesis gas for a uh, fischer trop uh, reaction. Synthesis gas for for uh, uh, Fischer uh, uh, trop synthesis. So, this reaction is kind of uh, very important because uh, this uh, using uh, cap uh, exploits the reducing power of CO produces hydrogen under mild conditions and also removes CO uh, from the uh, uh, gas mixture for the Heber Bosch process and also leads to uh, hydrogen enrichment uh, in the Fischer trop uh, synthesis. So, this is really a, a important uh, reaction that exploits uh, the uh, uh, um, uh, redu reducing power of CO uh, and itself CO gets oxidized uh, to produce uh, carbon dioxide and uh, water uh, get reduced to uh, hydrogen. So, this is an interesting uh, reaction. Now, uh, current uh, 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 the main challenges uh, involves uh, heterogeneous catalysis which uh, involve high temperature uh, 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 is unfavorable for equilibrium for water gas shift reaction and uh, that sort of provides uh, the impetus for carrying out uh, uh, the reaction under homogeneous conditions. So, current heterogeneous catalysts involve high temperature which 
are unfavorable for the position of equilibrium. for the equilibrium and uh, this is the reason why homogeneous uh, catalyst uh, which can do this reaction uh, under uh, uh, more milder conditions are uh, uh, required and for which homogeneous catalysis under mild conditions are required. Now, uh, in these uh, 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 homogeneous conditions for mild conditions required. Now, uh, one would uh, think that how would uh, uh, a homogeneous catalyst uh, be able to carry out this uh, reaction under mild condition and the main uh, rationale to that is that uh, uh, the main uh, the ho under uh, homogeneous catalyst is the nucleophilic activation of CO uh, may be performed by coordination of CO to the transition metal followed by addition of the nucleophile. So, this is an important strategy uh, which uh, 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 sort of uh, would be used uh, for uh, carrying out uh, uh, this uh, uh, oxidation of CO2 carbon uh, dioxide. So, the strategy uh, the main objective main target in this front is the nucleophilic activation of CO CO by coordination of CO to transition metal followed by addition of nucleophile to the carbon atom. And this uh, uh, is simply represented by the schematic representation where metal plus carbon dioxide monoxide forms the activation through coordination to give M C O and then the nucleophile acts on the carbon. Uh, which this step is called nucleophilic activation to give M C O N U. So, uh, homogeneous catalysis thus uh, provides a very uh, systematic approach of activating uh, this uh, carbon monoxide molecule by coordination of the carbon monoxide uh, to the metal center uh, followed by the nucleophilic attack occurring at the carbon. Now, uh, activation of substrate by coordination to transition metal is not new in homogeneous catalysis, but uh, on the other hand it is a very common step in homogeneous catalysis and we have observed this in many catalytic reactions particularly with respect to uh, olefin uh, uh, activation reactions where olefins get activated uh, primarily by coordination uh, to transition metal. So, similar strategy can be a put in place for uh, the CO uh, activation followed by nucleophilic attack on the uh, uh, carbon of the activated CO resulting in M CO nucleophile uh, and this is uh, the strategy that is uh, sought 
for achieving a milder uh, uh, conditions using homogeneous catalysis for this water graph shift reaction in which uh, CO uh, uh, can react with water to produce uh, hydrogen and uh, uh, carbon dioxide. So, uh, uh, this uh, 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 and uh, this activation uh, of CO by coordination can be a, a, a so effective that even weak nucleophiles like water can undergo a reaction. So, uh, 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 and this is explained uh, 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 by the reaction is explained uh, uh, in uh, Haber's uh, base reaction uh, given by two uh, uh, catalytic cycles. It Haber base reaction. Um, uh, the, uh, it is uh, given by two catalytic cycles where even water can be used. Uh, 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 weak nucleophile can water uh, can be uh, as uh, can be used to attack uh, the uh, carbon monoxide coordinated metal uh, oxide. So the reaction uh, starts with uh, a metallate. Uh, for example, uh, H H F E C O four minus first uh, obviously is the reaction with C O uh, giving F E C O five plus H minus uh, now. Uh, this uh, carbon monoxide gets coordinated to iron giving FeCO5 and the hydride leaves. Uh, this uh, H minus uh, then reacts uh, with water uh, uh, to give dihydrogen H plus and this water gets deprotonated by H minus to get OH minus. So, beautiful uh, chemistry in the offing and this OH minus uh, then attacks this CO coordinated to transient metal. A uh, wonderful example in which uh, 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 by using a metal at an ion, uh, 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 water uh, is activated uh, by deprotonation of uh, water with the iron hydride generating uh, H2 and OH minus. Now, this OH minus attacks the coordinated carbonyl uh, coordinated carbonyl to give Fe CO4 and uh, FeCO4 uh, uh, would uh, then uh, decarboxylate to give CO2 and uh, along with the regeneration of FeHCO4 uh, minus. So, wonderful chemistry uh, uh, in which uh, this catalytic cycle is based on and uh, uh, this uh, adopts the principle uh, that uh, the CO gets activated by coordination to iron and then the nucleophile which is OH minus uh, generated from this metallate anion consisting of a hydride this metallate anion then at attacks to convert into uh, acid and then subsequently the acid decarboxylates uh, giving out uh, carbon dioxide along with this uh, generation of iron hydride uh, tetracarbonyl uh, anion. So, uh, this is a wonderful example for this Haber based uh, catalytic cycle. There is another uh, uh, similar uh, Haber based catalytic cycle uh, uh, which has been proposed and we are going to uh, sort of uh, look at this catalytic pathway as well. Haber based reaction Uh, this uh, reaction also starts with uh, this iron hydride tetracarbonyl anion uh, 
the reaction of water giving OH minus. So, uh, these uh, 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 OH minus and then uh, as a result H plus is generated. So, this water sort of gets deprotonated by this ion uh, uh, hydride tetracarbonyl anion resulting in iron dihydrogen tetracarbonyl complex. So, this is an elegant chemistry in place uh, uh, can be seen for both of the catalytic cycles. So, here what we see that uh, this uh, iron uh, uh, hydride tetracarbonyl anion deprotonating uh, water to generate OH minus along with uh, formation of a dihydrogen uh, dihydride iron tetracarbonyl compound which even loses uh, this dihydrogen molecule by reductive elimination to give iron tetracarbonyl and that now reacts with carbon monoxide to form the Fe uh, carbonyl coordinated FeCO5. So, once this FeCO5 so formed reacts with OH minus uh, 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 which has been released in the uh, first step and this OH minus then attacks to the carbonyl uh, moiety bound coordinate to uh, iron as was uh, the suggested scheme of activation. So, OH minus uh, then attacks uh, one of the coordinate carbonyls to give Fe CO4 OH and then that uh, similar to what we had discussed earlier decarboxylates giving CO2 and uh, HFE CO4 uh, minus. So, uh, what one sees that this is a wonderful chemistry in which the reaction of carbon monoxide with water leads to the formation of carbon dioxide and hydrogen, carbon dioxide and hydrogen as uh, uh, have been desired uh, under mild condition using a homogeneous catalytic uh, uh, pathway. So, uh, uh, this is a wonderful uh, demonstration uh, of the fact that how uh, people uh, on going from heterogeneous catalytic pathway which also used uh, uh, this conversion of uh, H2O plus CO giving H2 plus CO2, but it required temperature uh, uh, at over 200 degree centigrade uh, very uh, uh, harsh condition. Uh, such a conditions be reduced uh, by proper uh, 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 choice of catalyst, homogeneous catalyst in which uh, in this case is hydride iron tetracarbonyl minus uh, uh, and then uh, uh, it just simply converts uh, this hydrox uh, water to a hydroxide nucleophile along with regeneration of H2 and uh, formation of carbon dioxide in a catalytic fashion and uh, uh, bring down uh, 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 the uh, uh, difficulty in uh, performing this uh, reaction. So, this is uh, two wonderful examples of uh, uh, homogeneous catalysis uh, uh, that have been uh, uh, used uh, 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 to carry out water gas shift uh, reaction. So, metal carbonyls in general, uh, general, uh, general catalyze uh, homogeneous uh, reactions in uh, basic medium. So, uh, one can see the reason uh, uh, for uh, uh, medium to be basic because uh, you know uh, one uh, has to deprotonate uh, this water uh, and uh, uh, generate uh, this uh, OH nucleophile. So, catalytic water gas shift reaction are performed by 
by metal carbonyls in basic medium. There are uh, apart from uh, uh, iron uh, species, uh, uh, the rhodium uh, species of the type uh, um, rhodium iodo uh, uh, carbon uh, CO carbon carbonyls also uh, able to catalyze water gas shift reaction uh, mm, mm, and the equation is uh, given as uh, below. The rhodium I 2 CO whole 2 minus and this is plus 1 oxygen state and rhodium 3 I 5 CO 2 minus catalyze water gas shift reaction. Uh, which is present uh, uh, under conditions of R rhodium dicarbonyl chloride dimer HO acetic acid HCl and Ki. The, uh, the reaction is given as follows rhodium 3 plus CO plus H2O giving rhodium 1 plus CO2 plus 2 H plus and rhodium 1 plus 2 H plus giving rhodium 3. plus H 2. So, the overall net reaction can be written as C O plus H 2 O giving C O 2 plus H 2. So, with this uh, I would like to uh, conclude uh, uh, this today's discussion on uh, water gas uh, shift uh, uh, reaction and uh, what we have uh, uh, discussed in today's reaction is uh, that uh, this water gas shift reaction which is very important particularly with respect to uh, utilization of carbon monoxide and this can be achieved by reaction of carbon monoxide with water and uh, this uh, uh, produces uh, carbon dioxide and hydrogen and this reaction is affected by transition metals uh, with catalysts like iron. Uh, uh, mm, mm. Uh, or catalysts like iron uh, and uh, these reactions are carried out under heterogeneous conditions uh, that they require very high temperature of above uh, 200 degree centigrade which sort of shifts the equilibria of water uh, gas shift reaction uh, uh, in an unfavorable way and because of which a uh, more milder approach consisting of homogeneous catalysis uh, are required and from the uh, strategy that has been used uh, for carrying out this reaction under homogeneous catalytic condition is the utilization of the fact that this carbon monoxide can be activated by coordination uh, to transition metal followed by nucleophilic attack at the carbon on the transition metal. Now, coordination substrate activation by uh, a coordination to uh, tra transition metal is not a new concept in uh, homogeneous catalysis and most of the catalytic reactions do proceed uh, uh, by uh, get, uh, getting activated through coordination to transition metal. Indeed, uh, uh, the uh, metal carbonyls under uh, basic conditions uh, like uh, iron uh, um, carbonyl, uh, tetracarbonyl hydride anion in presence of uh, water 
uh, do carry out uh, uh, this uh, uh, water gas shift reaction under catalytic fashion in which uh, uh, it uses uh, uh, water uh, and uh, carbon monoxide and produces uh, uh, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Uh, not only uh, and there has been two catalytic cycles that have been proposed for this uh, transformation. Uh, the uh, iron apart uh, rhodium carbonyls also catalyze uh, this uh, uh, water gas shift reaction uh, and the uh, uh, in a two step uh, process. The first step involves the reaction of rhodium 3 with carbon monoxide and water uh, giving rhodium 1 and carbon dioxide and twice H plus and the su subsequent step involved rhodium 1 uh, with H plus giving rhodium 3 and H 2. So, overall uh, 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 this rhodium 1 and rhodium 1 cancels out and rhodium 3 and rhodium 3 cancels out. The net uh, reaction which comes out of it is uh, that CO plus H2 giving CO2 plus H2. So, this is exactly a, a what is expected of uh, uh, the product for water gas shift reaction and that can be achieved in a homogeneous catalytic fashion under mild condition. So, with this I would like to we'll conclude today's discussion on uh, water gas shift reaction uh, and then uh, take up this topic in bit more uh, detail uh, in the subsequent lecture in where we would also uh, uh, look at the other aspect of the C1 chemistry which involves uh, reduction of uh, carbon monoxide uh, to hydrocarbons as a part of uh, Fischer drop uh, synthesis. So, I once again thank you uh, for patiently listening to me in this lecture and I look forward to uh, uh, take up uh, this Fischer drop synthesis in bit more detail uh, uh, and also continue uh, on the water gas shift uh, 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 reaction some aspect of it still remains to be discussed in the next lecture. Till then goodbye and thank you.